people keep saying that this has been a mild winter here in Boston, Massachusetts, which might be the case, but let me tell you as a southern boy born in Louisiana, raised in Texas, who spent the last three years living in Hawaii, this is basically the first time in my life experiencing a full, real winter. And it is no easy feat, my friends. But a beautiful silver lining to constantly being cold is the snow. I love the snow. I don't care how cold it is, if it's snowing outside, it's magical to me. In mid-January, we had a really nice full day of snowfall, so I decided to take my film camera and walk around my neighborhood in Somerville to capture the scene. I'm shooting on my Pentax P3N loaded with the roll of Fuji Superior Extra 400. Superior 400 is probably the cheapest and easiest color film stock to find on the market today, but funny enough, it's actually my favorite consumer stock to shoot. There's probably a little bias there. You see, for my first five years of shooting, film, Superior 400 is all that I shot with, mainly because as a broke high school and college student, it's all that I could afford. But even today, 10 years later, after having tried most other consumer film stocks, I keep finding myself falling back to Superior 400 for casual shooting. I'll tell you why in a bit. But first, here's a few shots taken from my room on that day in January before suiting up and heading out into the cold. Snow is something that's very new to me. Of course I've experienced it before, but I've never lived anywhere it's cold enough to have a proper snowfall. So to be able to see the streets that I live on covered with a blanket of white powder is a unique beauty I'm not familiar with. One thing you'll notice about this role is the strong presence of green and magenta color tones. It's a characteristic that's very common in Superior 400 when the exposure isn't just right, and it's something that I've grown to have a love-hate relationship with. It's really annoying when these tones overpower the overall color palette of the photo, but when done right, I find it adds a dreamy element to the composition. It was at this moment that I realized I was out of film. And that concludes that role of Fuji Superior 400. Thank you for watching this video and sticking with me all the way until the end. I've been really enjoying making these videos and have a lot in store for the future. So if you like what you see, I encourage you to subscribe because trust me, the film content will not be stopping anytime soon. In fact, making these videos just makes me want to go out and shoot more. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.